know that I be flexed up. Check the pay stub, yeah, you know I'm got a big bus. Work my ass off, so I'm finna buy a best truck. Fuck the sauce roll, so I'm finna need a tummy tuck. Got the Louis on fit, looking too clean. Girl, spot it for me, been a boss since 18. Feeling like a skater, cause I'm rocking all the Supreme. Felt double G just to hold up my skinny jeans. Swear to God, I'm so selfish. Think about money, high fashion, and selfish. She like my music, yeah, that shit in high demand. I done got the drugs, I done cry again, but I. Past, don't got no regrets, let it all in the past, don't got no upsets Who I am, it never should reflect you At 3am, yeah, I know I shouldn't have text you Cooler than your new man I got polo on my jacket, something new, man I'm a star, yeah, I swear I never lose, man I go hard, like which genre do I choose, man 15k in a week, how I do, man I make money in my sleep, yeah, that's hard work I make money in my sleep, she a hard flirt I make money in my sleep, she a hard flirt Baby girl, yeah, you know that I be flexed Beautiful day in the neighborhood. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? I've always wanted to live in the neighborhood with you. So let's make the most of this beautiful day. Now that we're here, we might as well say, Would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? <laughs> What's good, fam? It's your boy, Measley G, and I'm back today with my favorite pickups. All right, guys, so what I'm going to do here today is I'm going to show you everything that I picked up over the All-Star Weekend, minus a few merch items. All right, so before we get into it, if you're not subscribed to the Hey Fam Measley G channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. I'll give y'all a few seconds to do it right now. Also, you don't even need to see this content. Just hit that like button right now. Smash that button. And if you're not logged in, log in and smash that like button. Let's get this some views, y'all. I put in a lot of legwork to show y'all this stuff. So please, show your boy some love and hit that like button. All right. First, we're going to get into the, the trashiest shoe that I copped, okay? First off, the trashiest shoe would have to be this, um, this Adapt, this BB Adapt. This shoe is straight garbaggio. I like the images of it. I like the pictures of it initially. When I saw it, I was like, this shoe looks cool. I have to grab it. First off, I don't know how you hoop in something like this. This feels like a Timberland boot. It has a lot of weight into it. Like, it pulls you down. All right? Other than this, this, this material right here in hand is not as flexing as it is in the picture. It looks way more appealing in the picture. Now, the coolest part about it is the size where you got the plus minus. But that's really about it. As far as aesthetics, this tongue looks cheap. I mean, even though they look like they use premium materials, you got the L for the left and you got it all on the other side for right. Version 2.0 Nike Adapt BB, year 2020. Um, garbage. Straight trash. This was the most expensive pickup of the whole break or the whole All-Star weekend, yet it was the trashiest. Number one trashiest shoe on my list. All right. So next on my list, as far as the weakest shoe, I am going to have to go for, and you guys are going to have to forgive me for this. I did not know this, um, is the Jordan 3. Now, the Jordan 3 is a fire shoe, okay? And um, I'm just finding out this right here is an air pair, which you guys know I have an air pair. I also have a shy pair too, so let me pull out the shy pair. All right, so I pulled out a shy pair. And if you're looking at them, you see no specific differences. You both got the red and black laces. You got the elephant print. You got the redness. You have the tongue. You have the sizes. And you look at your bottoms. You got the same sole, the same tongue. Only difference is this is Nike Shy and this is Nike Air. And then the insoles is a little bit different. All right. I love this shoe. I am wearing this shoe. I have turned this shoe into a beater already, personally. I like it, so when I'm saying it's the second weakest shoe, it's not out of disrespect. It's just that there was a lot of heat that dropped in the last 10 days, and this to me happens to be closer to the weakest, okay? All right. Now, um, getting back to it, um, I want to go into the next shoe that I think is weakest. And this, this shoe is the weakest only because it's outdated. And it's going to be the Nike Air Ship. 
Now, it's still a dope shoe. It's not a dope shoe. It's very simple. It's, uh, it's nice materials on it. If you notice, you give it a good look around. Um, the insole is just like it is on the Jordan 1. Um, I like this shoe. It's very classic. It's very... Um, it's very... What's the word I'm looking for? It's very simple. It's simplistic. Like, you know what I'm saying? The ideology behind this is just, you could just wear this with anything or a lot of things, not anything, because it's not all black. So you can wear this with a lot of things. They gave us nice leather, nice quality materials. This is a decent shoe, but it's very simple, okay? Next on my list is going to be, and I'm sorry, there's a few shoes that I'm going to put here. First, the next shoe is the trashiest shoe. Now, as quality-wise, this to me is the trashiest shoe. I do not like this shoe. The reverse bread. I, I like the concept. I like this card the most. You get an extra pair of black laces. It has a number right here on the inside of it. This is not the, I mean, it is numbered, but it's not numbered. It's actually this that's numbered, okay? So this will be numbered if you were to buy these, right? And this is pair 6,458 out of 23,000. Each shoe came in its own dust bag in the box. So you get red laces, you get an extra pair of black laces, but I don't like this stiff leather. I'm not a fan of it. I do like the OG high um, cut that they um, they brought back out of the vault. And if you um, just bear with me, if you look at the heels on that, do you see the cut, how it's different, right? You see how it's cut different? This one leans in more and this is more straight up. So there's the difference right there when it comes to uh, how this shoe was made, okay? Other than that, anything with the black leather toe boxes just looks stupid to me. I do not like it. Um, it doesn't look like it wears right. It doesn't bend right. It doesn't have a good bounce back. It's very stiff. Um, this, to me, is on the bottom of the totem pole. If that if that, that BB was any better and that airship was any simpler, they would be better. Was any more complex, they would be better than this. This shoe, hands down to me, is... This is one of the weakest shoes right here. You have right Jordan 85, reverse bread, worst release to me, that is. All right, on to the next release. Next release to me initially was the weakest shoe to me. It was a shoe I purchased just to purchase to, to complete everything this weekend and send back, okay? But before I show you this shoe, I don't know if you can see it yet, but before I show you this shoe, I'm going to ahead and let you know I also copped the... Um, the, the Joe Fresh Goods um, New Balance, the 992. Here go a quick picture of it. All right. Now, um, I copped that shoe, but I have no idea about the market on that shoe, um, about New Balances. I'm not into New Balances. So um, someone in line was looking for a 9, or outside of the line was looking for a 9. So I bought his size, sold it to him right away for the quick flip. All right couple of what was like an extra 120 bucks I made on top I paid like 280 for it um, and sold it for a little over 400 that's what it was going for around the time um, so I did that made a little extra money kept moving right now to this shoe this is the wing 10 now I thought this shoe was gonna be straight trash right 94 beyond so they still have all of his accomplishments on the bottom and tens are one of my favorites why because they are extremely comfortable it's a, a, a wide base shoe. It's not structured to like be contoured to a certain fit. So it allows you to walk in and have toe spreading room. Now that I got this shoe in hand, it has some aesthetics that I actually really like. Um, for one, and I'm not gonna get into all these boxes because you know a lot of these things got cool boxes. This box is just cool as hell, right? Look at that. I like that with the rose on top. This was like a Valentine's Day shoe it seems. And I'm just going to pull out the other shoe to see if it looks any different. And it is the same, exact same. So now I know we can just go on forward. I like how it has the green lines that pop between the laces. That is phenomenal. I like the color hints. I like the silver. And I'm not certain if that represents the, um, the L train since this is supposed to represent the colors of our trains. You have the brown line, the blue line, the red line, and the purple line. Okay? Now, as far as the brown line, I know I used to ride the brown line when I used to work downtown, more in the, uh, closer to the um, northern loop. Um, blue line will take you from the west suburbs to the um, to the city. It's an L. 
So it'll take you from like the west suburbs to the northwest suburbs. It goes downtown and northwest. The red takes you, goes from um, up north to the south side. And then purple, you never really ride purple. I don't know what purple takes you. Um, and there's also orange too. So maybe that's what this orange is here for. And then there's the green line, okay? The green line. The green line you get on at Harlem and it'll take you downtown too as well. Some of these stops intertwine. And I rode the green line a lot myself, so I am familiar. I used to get on the green line to take the green line downtown. Sometimes I transferred to the brown line, but for foremost, I took the green line. So I like that. They put everything in here. They did the blue, the orange, the green, the brown, the purple, the red. So they put all the colors in this. This is a really dope Chicago shoe. I may have to keep this. This may be a keeper. Um, this, yeah, this, <laughs> this may be a keeper. The box, everything is beautiful for this shoe. So this is next on my list, the Jordan 10 Wings. This shoe, if you're from Chicago, if you take advantage of the subway, or not, we don't have a subway, but our, um, our train station, this shoe actually is more powerful than I thought it was. Jordan 10 Wings. Next shoe on the list is the Nike SB Dunk Plum, okay? I'm sorry, I take that back. The Nike Duck Plum. So there's a difference between dunks. You have Nike Dunks and you have SB Dunks. People are confused, okay? So when you have a dunk, you have a thinner based tongue, right? You have a thinner tongue. When you have an SB, you have a fat tongue for skateboarding. The SB stands for skateboarding. So SBs will be at skate shops, and sneakers and dunks will be hit tier zeros will hit regular stores as well as nike.com now i like this shoe right here this plum is so nice now i like the original og it's a high but this low is just as great the the suede they use is very nice it has that brush back where you can go lighter to dark the double shade of purple too is also very nice where it hits with this red, keeps it nice and subtle. Now this is more like a blood red or a, a, a blunt orange red or something like that, you know? But that it also works with this shoe. So this shoe would be next on my list. This is a size 11. Everything I'm showing you guys are intended to be personal pairs. Now I'm not gonna lie, I'm not keeping all of this. Half of this is gonna go, but I'm more than likely gonna either trade them or sell them for something to buy something I do want later on in the future. All right, so next on my list is the Plum. Next on the list is the Don C Air Force One Chicago. And we're going to get into the Just Don. Now, um, this is next on my favorite list because, well, one, this color blocking is beautiful. Now, everyone saw this on the MCAs and they went freaking crazy, right? That shoe is going for like 2 3K right now. Same color skew, just with the silver swoosh. Now, I know people tell me I'm crazy when I say that shoe isn't all that fire. It's definitely not worth what they're charging for it. But this shoe is definitely worth what they're charging for it. The leather on it is premium, lined with the, a satin inner side set. You have the Chicago police flag on the inside. And you got the force with the basketball on the tongue. Okay? This shoe is beautifully crafted with premium leather. It's a Just Don special. This is also the same Air Force One that he created when they did the uh, Air Force 100 collection. All right, so it's the same one. Have your Nike brand on the back with the red accents makes this shoe beautiful. This is next on my list. It's simple, it's cool, calm, and collective. It's triple seed, extra premium material. This is high end. Love the red accents on the bottom too. If you can touch these, touch these. This is a great shoe with great detailing. I love everything. Oh, I take that back. I love just about everything Just Don does, Don C. Um, only My only problem is the clothing is too expensive. Um, the hats are too expensive. Um, but outside of that, I get it. I get the niche for it. You got to have that. So this right here is next on my list. All right. Back to the Jordan 1s. Next on my list will be the Jordan 1 from the New Beginnings pack. And once again, one of my favorite things about this shoe is this tag card again, okay? Now, I love the red. And if you've seen the black and red pair, it's the exact same red, it looks like, right? But except you got black in this. Now, that's the only thing that makes this shoe different is you went with a black outlay 
and this one you went with a right uh, a white outlay the white outlay looks way better on this shoe than the black now these are the exact same model shoe they're exact same in every aspect and way except for the black and red I mean the black and white color blocking switched on the toe box as well as the side panel and the tongue okay all right now you get just the extra spare white laces with this but this shoe is really really freaking clean this shoe is clean you can't not love this I'm not even a Jordan 1 fanatic and this shoe makes me go bananas all right so I definitely want to show this on my list this is up there on the top this is better than that reverse bread 85 this right here we'll call it the candy cane the Jordan 1 candy cane I like it all right that's next on this we have the women's UNC Chicago now I should have grabbed the pair with the tongue with the tag because that red tag really makes this shoe pop but I grabbed the left shoes for everything here to go over so that being said, I wish this blue was a little bit darker, but it is UNC blue. I love the soft tumbledness of this, this leather on the whole shoe and the black side paneling. I love the red sole. This shoe screams, do me over and over and over again. So guess what I'm gonna do? Do it over and over and over again. This is the next shoe on my list for one of my hottest releases. And now we're getting into the top one, two, three, four. All right, so this is top five. This made top five, all right. Top five in my All-Star Weekend pickups. <laughs> Boom! Number four on my list is the Strange Loves. Now, I like the Strange Loves. I had to put in some work for these. Um, is there a Strange Love box over here? No. But there was a card, um, Premier Skate Shop. I had a, a little thing where you had to actually get a Valentine's Day card. And that was the only way you could enter the code on Frenzy. I did not cop these that way. I had to go through other means and resources Thank you, my boss. This is a 10.5 personal pair. I would never, ever put my foot in this shoe. Never. But it's a collector's piece. This is a beautiful piece of artwork, and I can't wait. The materials that they used on this is a freaking one. Strange love, you did your freaking thing on these shoes. Number four in my All-Star Weekend pickup. And yes, I get it. This was the weekend before All-Star Weekend. But considering the fact I had to camp out from that Friday all the way up until yesterday. That was all my All-Star weekend. So the plums and these dropped the same day. This is an SB, which means it's a skate shop. Fat tongue. Everything about this shoe is fire. All right. Thank you. This is my number four shoe. Let's go. We're down to the, the final three, y'all. And you see the heat in my hands. We're down to the final three. All right. Number two. Number three. Number three is going to have to be the fear of God, the air fear of God. Now, initially, we thought we were getting the all triple black one. And if we did get that all triple black one, I guarantee you, hands down, that would be my top shoe. But it's not. This isn't. But this is beautiful. And even though it looks just like this color blocking wise, boom, 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 which definitely means one of these bad boys got to go. I don't need both of these. So one of these are going to go. All right, I just don't know which one I'm gonna keep yet. The Yeezys fit a little snug. Now again, with these, you got the zipper in the back. You got this nice little leather and plaid. This is a size 10. I always go down in fear of gods because I think to me they run a little big because of the pointed toe. But hey, they could have fixed that, so I will be trying these on. Black upper with the oatmeal look and the cream bottom. This is a beautiful shoe. This shoe right here, is very, very, very clean, very nice. Nike Air, Fear of God, top three pickup from this weekend. I got it for retail, which was 350 plus tax, which comes to about 385. What also was that price? I feel like something else. Oh, the airship pack was 352 as well. So believe it or not, that whole airship pack, which is going for around somewhere between 1500 to 2000 dollars retail for the same price as these fear gods which are only going for 600 bucks you got to think about that that's crazy where to spend your money all right now number two and this is a biggie guys this is a biggie number two hmm 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 i'm gonna have to say number two of my favorite pickups of the dopest releases to me i am going to have to go and this is a tough one y'all and if i get this wrong let me know but number two in the collection is 
the Off-White Jordan 5. Now, I like this shoe. As you can see, it's got the hole right there in the tongue. Um, shoelaces say shoelaces. <laughs> Once again, we're used to this. You got your lace lock. You got your black zip tie. I do like how with the different um, years and different collabs, he is switching the colors up on the heat. Here you in this shoe is nice, all right? It's got that little, like, kind of like shimmery. It could be see-through material. I like the extra holes in this. Jordan 5s are a nice Jordan 5. Um, I like how the bottle is yellowed, like it's been yellowed already from um, from oxidation. So I kind of like the feel for this. I like this shoe. This is a dope shoe. This is not my favorite shoe, but this is a must for me. So as far as Jordans go, this is my top Jordan that I wanted. Um, I'm keeping this pair as a personal. And I'll be honest, I'll probably never wear it. You know, being being me who I am. I did get the t-shirt just in case I changed my mind. We got the Nike branded on the back. This is Virgil Abloh's Jordan 5 Off-White. And number two for my favorite pickups. Number one of my favorite pickups was the Yeezy Quantum. Oh my gosh. Ever since I heard words of this shoe, I wanted it. You know what I'm saying? I had to touch it. I needed to have it. Now I know that there's two versions. I need to know if I can get both. All right, this is the lifestyle version. Everyone who copped these only copped the lifestyle version. And we're confused because there's also a b-ball version, right? This does have reflective tears underneath it. I don't know if you guys can see that with the light, with the flash on it. Um, but it does have reflectiveness right there. Um, I don't know the 100% differences, but I do believe the sole is slightly different on the bat, on the b-ball. All right, this was my favorite shoe. Um, no, I did not give up anything to get these. Um, I did chase that truck. Unfortunately, I did not bump into it, but, um, it is what it is. I, I did end up paying this for retail. Um, what happened was, and, and this went with most of these shoes, guys. Your boy Measley G, don't go here thinking that my accounts are juiced and that I hit everything, okay? Um, outside of this shoe, this shoe right here, I haven't hit one single thing on the apps. Okay, I haven't hit one single thing on the apps outside of that shoe, the, the a reverse bread 85. Every other shoe was a blessing. This, my mom hit on, that was a blessing. Everything else was given to me. My airship pack was given to me by a subscriber. I appreciate you, fam. We had a nice little deal. We took care of business. Boom. Um, what else? The Don C's I was blessed with. The, um, the plums I was blessed with. The uh, strange loves I was blessed with. The wings were sitting, okay, sitting, meaning somebody didn't want a 10.5 or 11 because those were the only two sizes sitting. So those were sitting, you know what I mean? The uh, BB, no one's out there buying $400 bricks. So it was sitting for me. And the fear of God, I did hit a raffle at St. Alfred since that was the only place they got it. But this right here, hands down, I would have to say is my favorite pickup. I know what shoes I will be keeping. I'm st I still haven't decided if I'm keeping this over this. I know this is my favorite pickup, but I did try it on in this size 11 because these Yeezys only came in full sizes, no half sizes. So seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I don't even think there were 13s available, okay? So how many pairs is that? Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Six sizes were available in these shoes, okay? They fit snug. I'm a 10 and a half, and these 11s fit like 10s. So I don't know if I'm keeping this shoe. Like I said, I love a shoe, but if it don't fit, and it's a shoe I want to wear, hey, if it don't fit, you must have quit, right? I'm not going up and getting a 12. Uh, maybe I should, but I probably won't. If this fits perfectly, I might keep this over this. Let me know in the comment section, y'all, if you got to the end of this video, would you keep the Nike Air Fear of God, or would you keep the Yeezy Quantum? Which one would you keep? Really would like to know y'all opinion. Really would like to know how y'all feel on that. These shoes are the exact same colorway, exact same color blocking. Yeezy even pulled up in front of the Jerry Lorenzo drop and gave away some of his quantums. How disrespectful is that, right? So with that being said, y'all, again, in the comment section, Nike Air Fear God or the Yeezy, okay? All right, that's what your boy Measley want to know. Other than that, let me know what you think of my top, I believe this was 13 shoes. So my top 13 pickups from the um, All-Star Weekend. I did pick up those 992s and I did touch those Kawhi Leonard's, but I didn't want to actually purchase the Kawhi Leonard's. 
Again, I'm not comfortable enough in this new balance market to, to buy something and bring it home. If I can get rid of it right away, I'm going to get rid of it right away. Let me know out of this what was your favorite, which three items you liked. And again, if you would go with the Fear of God or the Nike Yeezy Quantum. Thank you if you stuck with me through this long ass video. Giveaway coming soon on some small little gift ideas. I love y'all. It's your boy Measley G. Thank y'all for checking in. And I'm out. Damn, got it. You can't go. Baby girl, yeah, you know that I be flexed up. Check the pay stub, yeah, you know I'm got a big bus. Work my ass off, so I'm finna buy a best truck. Pop the sauce wall, so I'm finna need a tummy tuck. Got the Louis on fit, looking too clean. Girls falling for me, been a boss since 18. Feeling like a skater, cause I'm rocking all this.